I'm Joanne Banco, author, designer, and sewing educator. And today I'm going to share with you one of my absolute most favorite sewing and serging projects. A custom made stylish swimsuit. Now, if you're anything like me, you've had to go shopping for a swimsuit off season, or you just couldn't find the right color. And we've all gone through that distressing moment when we go to the dressing room, we try them on, and nothing seems to work. Now, sometimes you're lucky and you'll find a ready-made, and that's a good thing. So today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about some tips, tricks, and techniques for making your own stylish swimwear. So let's talk about some of the things that you're going to need to get started. First of all, you're going to want to pick a pattern. Now take a look at some of the patterns that I brought with me. You know, they're not as common as what you would find for a lot of other garments, so I have a really good tip for you. Buy it when you see it and you'll have it when you need it. Even if you're shopping, you know, for something else in the fabric store and you see a nice swimsuit pattern, if you think it's going to work for you, pick it up because they don't make as many, um, you know, seasonal items like that as they do for other garments that you find in the pattern catalogs. And it's essential that you have a pattern that's a specifically designed for swimsuits. Next thing you're going to look for is swimsuit fabric. So take a look at the swimsuit fabric that I have here. This has four-way stretch. What that means is it stretches both horizontally and vertically, or what we would call on both grains. So we've got lengthwise grain and we've got crosswise grain. And this fabric that I have has a lot of lycra in it and it stretches a full 75%. Now, if you um, take a look at some of the fabrics that are available, you'll find some will stretch equally in both directions, some will not. If your fabric stretches more in one direction than another, you want to pay attention to the grain line on your pattern pieces and always cut all of your pattern pieces so that the pieces that are going around the width of your body go along the maximum stretch of your fabric, okay? So maximum stretch goes around the body. All right, what about some other things? You're gonna need probably lining. In a minute or two, I'll show you the inside of my swimsuit as well as what you can see on the outside. And very often, you're going to want to line um, at least partially or maybe even entirely. It gives it a little bit more coverage. It also gives it a little bit more comfort. So you want to look specifically for swimsuit lining. That stretches as well in both directions, but that should always go around your body. Okay, now what about notions? By adding um, support through bust cups, you're also going to give um, your swimsuit a little bit more shape and a little bit more support. And in most cases, that's going to be a little bit more flattering on you. And we can add that either to the lining. Sometimes you'll see if you have especially like a halter style, that bust cup will literally be zigzagged around. There may even be placement marks on your pattern specifically for that. So take a look at your pattern, get a you know, good feel for what your notions you're gonna need and what the construction order is gonna be. You could also buy little mini cups and stitch them in afterwards. So we'll talk a little bit more about that when we look at the inside of the swimsuit. What about some other notions? One item that is absolutely essential is picking the right elastic. Remember, where are you going to wear your swimsuit? You're going to wear it, generally speaking, in chlorinated water. So you want to look for elastic that is specially made for um, resistance to chlorine. Your fabric is resistant to that and your elastic needs to be as well. You'll find a variety of different types. We have a, like a rubberized version, a clear version, and then my favorite is this cotton elastic. And again, it's specifically made for swim where I'm going to show you a great um, technique today for actually sewing that into your, into your swimsuit. Okay, so what about pins? You know, it's just always the little things that are the most important. And if you go pick from your regular garment sewing pins, you may get into trouble because they're sharp. So what do you want to look for? Ballpoint pins. Ballpoint pins are designed for piercing, 
the knitted fabric with spandex and not creating any holes. So again, very important. When we sit down at the machine in a minute, I'll show you sewing machine needles. We're gonna look for ballpoint in that as well. All right, what about thread? Again, we need um, strong, durable thread. So we're gonna look for 100% polyester, good quality thread to sew our swimsuit. Now, I've got a press cloth here, and that's just my little reminder to tell you, you know, a swimsuit isn't like constructing um, a regular woven garment. You're not gonna be pressing as much, but there are gonna be times and places where you need to press a little bit. Make sure you use a press cloth. Make sure you test your iron. You know, you might be able to tell from the look on my face, I've made that mistake. It's heat sensitive fabric. So test first to test as best, and then make those adjustments, okay? Make sure you test. All right, let's take a peek inside the um, swimsuit that I made. And you can see I've got um, serge seams. I've got some um, elastic sewn into this. I'll show you that at the machine. But I also wanted you to see my ready-made because you can see similar styling here. And again, that kind of is your clue. If you have a swimsuit you like, if you find one, um, even if it's starting to get worn out, take some measurements. I decided there's a certain skirt length that I like from um, the bodice to the um, you know, uh, top part of my leg. And I try to make my swimsuits then match that same flattering length. All right, let's move over to the machine and get started in doing some swimsuit stitching. Okay, so let's take a look at these stitch samples. The first one is an ordinary zigzag set for a very, very narrow width. So look at how that stretches. That's the key with sewing swimwear. You need that seam to stretch. The next sample I have is actually a stitch that's called a um, stem stitch. It looks a little bit like a lightning bolt and again, that one has even a little bit more stretch. So that would be a step up. That would probably be um, a very, very good stitch to use. The third one is very common, found on a lot of machines, and it's called a triple stretch stitch. Watch how far I can stretch this one. That is ideal for sewing swimwear. And then I've got a combination here. I'm gonna show you the um, serger and an option for using a serger, but if you don't have a serger, you can use a triple straight stitch or check some of the overlock stitches on your machine and see what you have available. Let's take a, just a little peek inside this little um, swimwear skirt so that I can show you that in fact I did use woolly nylon thread on the serger and that's ideal for sewing the straight seams. It's also ideal for um, serge finishing the edges. So let me twirl around and show you the serger stitch here. I've got regular um, serger thread in here, but I've also got woolly nylon just to show you as an example. Now, why would I use woolly nylon? It's a little softer against the skin, and it actually stretches a little bit more than regular serger thread. So either way, it's your, it's your choice. Try them both and see what you like. I've got the machine set for a three thread wide stitch, and I'm gonna just put that right underneath the foot, trim just a little bit, and stretch that. And what you see is how stretchy that stitch is as well. So for um, long straight seams, this is ideal for actually sewing the seam and finishing it all in one step. If we open that up, we've got a nice um, clean finish there. All right. Let me show you some elastic techniques. So I'm gonna move over to the machine here, and I've got my elastic already started. When you sew um, elastic, you're going to be um, looking at joining it. So we would join that elastic first. We would do that with a simple um, triple zigzag. And then once we've got that joined, I like to join it to a little um, piece of fabric or stabilizer underneath. And now I'm gonna reach over here, I'm gonna grab my little swimsuit bottom, and I wanna show you a few things, first of all, that I've already got stitched. I've got the leg opening already sewn, it's been finished, the elastic's been stitched and turned over and top stitched. So I wanna um, clue you into something very important. Your pattern details 
are, are going to be you know crucial for you to look at. But with a swimsuit, it's a little different on the leg opening than it does at than it is at the waist. You've got a straight area on the front of your leg, and you've got a curve in the back. All of the stretchy elastic on the leg area has to go in that curved area. All right, so let me get um, a few stitches going here. You know, we've, we're going to um, have lots of tips for you on the, the website. So tips, tricks, and techniques. I've got a uh, stretch needle. My needle kind of flew away over there a little bit. I've got a stretch needle in the machine. I'm going to select a triple zigzag. I'm going to widen the width, and I'm going to lengthen the length and I'm just gonna pull and stitch. Now, if I wanna guide that right along, I'm just gonna pull and stitch, pull from the back, make that nice and even. All right, I'm not gonna bother to go around the whole thing. I'm gonna take this out, and I'm gonna just show you how this would look with the anchoring stitch that's anchored to my fabric. The next step would be to flip it over. From the right side then, I'm going to select that triple straight stitch, and I'm just simply going to top stitch that in place. So exactly what you saw on those leg openings is what we're, what we're going to do. All right, so let's go back over to the table and take a peek inside this swimsuit. If you look inside, you see my little bottoms all stitched, triple zigzag, for the anchoring the elastic, and then triple straight stitch for top stitching it in place. You can see I've used a twin needle for the hem, so um, that's a really good way to keep the stretch there. And then take a peek at the inside, and you'll see the same technique we used for the elastic is very often used in other areas. So on your swimsuit, um, you're going to use the same techniques, the same stitches in multiple places. I encourage you to visit the website, download instructions. You'll get more tips, tricks, and techniques for making your own stylish swimwear.